Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We are at the Harbour View roundabout and we are going to take a drive through or we're going to go on Palisado Strip and head towards the Norman Manny International Airport. Just going to take a quick tour. So the Palisado Strip is the only road you can use to access the Norman Manly International Airport. Yes, I'm not sure why, but it is. It's the only road you can use to access the airport and also the only road you can use to access Port Royal, the city or the town of Port Royal. So this is a very important road. Now, on the left you can see those stones they're put there to make sure as a barrier or to ensure that the water when the waves come up the, that it doesn't splash over onto the road and block the road now if you notice the, the stones are only on the left on the right is the kingston harbor the water in that harbor will never rise so you don't have to worry about it flooding the road now in the past when there's heavy rain the road this road would get flooded so that's why they built that system on the left put up the stones those kind of things and it hasn't happened since they've done it see on the right they have the kingston harbor they recently went ahead and put in a boardwalk so persons can walk along the palisade or strip very nicely done this is a very popular area for people to walk and fish and those kind of things and this boardwalk, this whole project, it did so well that they did the same thing in the central Kingston by Port Royal Street. They built a similar boardwalk and hoping persons will use it like they use this one. Also, you notice how this is a two lane road, but there's so much space on the left. That was done intentionally because this road was intended to be a six lane road. It was actually supposed to be four lanes when they did this renovation but because of the cost they cut it back to two lanes but this could easily be a six lane road so one day maybe as the traffic increases you they'll put it up to six and four lanes now just to give you an example of how dangerous it is to have one road leading to the airport some years ago they had a party somewhere out here and the cars parked on the main road and the police lost control of the situation and a lot of persons were parking in spots they weren't supposed to park. Jamaica has a lot of indiscipline on the roads and the road soon became blocked and with the best efforts of the police they were not able to clear the road. So persons were not able to get to and from the airport and that created a major problem, huge problem. Persons had to get out of the car and walk, walk or take a taxi from the other side of the block road and to get to the airport. It was a huge embarrassment, huge problem. And from that, no other party our event is allowed to happen where persons park on this road it hasn't happened since but it was a very dangerous situation now another major problem is if this road ever becomes impassable let's say there is an accident let's say there is a natural disaster there is no other way to get to the airport now there's another airport in Jamaica the Sangster International Airport that airport is in Montego Bay, Jamaica, and you can access it from many different roads. So they don't, that, they don't have a problem there. Also, the Ian Fleming International Airport in, we're going to say, the outskirts of Ocherios. It's actually in Bosco Bell, but nobody knows Bosco Bell. So when you say the word Ocherios, everybody knows where it is. So we'll just say it's on the outskirts of Ocherios. That also has numerous roads that lead to it, so you can have more than one way. So it's only this airport that is 
an issue when it if this road should ever become black and now on the left you can see there's a beach on the left behind the stones so you can see cars parked up here that's because they are walking on the beach and today is a sunday so you know it's a lot of recreation going on recreation activities i should say um, as you see uh, there are a, lot, a few ships in the Kingston Harbour that's because the largest port in Jamaica the Kingston Container Terminal is located on the Kingston Harbour as are many other ports Cement Company has a port Jamaica Flour Mills has a port Petrojam has a port a lot of companies have ports it's a natural harbour so it's the perfect place to put a port because the water will not get rough at times. It's one of the benefits of a natural harbor. And it's actually the seventh largest natural harbor in the world. So straight ahead now is a roundabout where you can turn right or continue around the roundabout and head right and that will take you to the Norman Man International Airport. If you keep straight, you continue to Port Royal. Every time I see this sign, it just... The Air Jamaica, the National Airline of Jamaica used to have their lovebird symbol on that same tail end of the aircraft that they have there so you just got so accustomed to seeing the air jamaica symbol at this roundabout but the airline was sold or divested whatever it doesn't fly anymore and they changed the symbol to the one that you see there okay so on the right now is our customs house for our customs area okay the first building is the ministry of agriculture and fisheries plant quarantine an inspection area this building on the right now is probably the warehouse where they store goods uh, I think it's Queens warehouse I'm not sure if they change the name and that is where they store goods that come in via air freight or if you bring it into the airport and they have to detain your bag or for whatever reason this is it, one of the warehouses and you have Aegis cargo there Basically, a lot of these buildings are basically just structures that support the airport. Right, guys thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe have a good day